Ngai pache tele nga gangeni po. Ngai pache tele nga gangeni. Skai pache tele iso keni po. Yeah. Hai so keni ka munga accounting kia ukopa lwe na skai pache tele. Kas kwa bari don't count your eggs before. Don't count your chickens before they hatch chicken eggs. What came first before the chicken or the egg? I se kwa boss. The reason why I'm saying that it's because you know you end up falling into that cycle of month end debt expenses and as you go through everything by line item to line item line item to line item you end up being pro programmed such that even when the money before it comes in you've already mentally spent it and that happens when you've been working a nine to five job for many years it becomes a mental conditioning it becomes a programming now it's a normal thing and it's not an easy thing to get out of that trap cycle of spending money before it hits the bank account now as an entrepreneur i come from an environment where i was also an entertainer gigs every weekend speaking engagements every weekend well still today i mean i don't gig as much as i used to but i still get gigs every other weekend at least speaking engagements every other weekend, hosting events every other weekend or every other month. And it's easy to just fall into that trap of, okay, right, but it's about Kenya, but it's about Kenya deposit on Wednesday, and then balance about Kenya the following Monday. How are you going to get deposit on Wednesday? Hey, so we count they give you a call or they send an email, they either postpone the gig or they cancel the gig and then you lose the money. And then on the other side, mentally, you had already programmed yourself to have spent the money even before it hit your bank account. It's a sad situation, we all go through it. How do you stop it? You stop it by reprogramming yourself, by unlearning things that you were taught, things that you were programmed, things that were indoctrinated in you. For you to learn a new habit or a new lifestyle, it takes at least a minimum of 21 days. But I always say to people, Mina, at least a month minimum. But to be absolutely sure, I always say to people, 90 days, at least three months. Learn a new habit, apply it daily for 90 days, then you would have learned a new habit. So in this case, how do you reprogram your mind to stop counting your chickens to stop counting your eggs before the <laughs> how do you do that so find a way to learn a new habit or get yourself used to a new habit um of not spending the money before it hits the bank account even using words like spending you must start canceling that affirm to yourself guys i don't spend money i circulate money because whatever amount of money i circulate comes back to me multiplied those are some of my affirmations mean i don't spend money because whatever you spend goes away whatever you spend on you've bought that thing now you've received the instant gratification of getting that dopamine hit by having acquired whatever shoe it is whatever new thing it is whatever car it is whatever it is that just makes you happy or a new rolex watch or a new cell phone but as soon as the dopamine hit wears off then you're gonna want to go buy again a couple of days later or a couple of weekends later or a couple of months later depending on your affordability so start getting yourself number one easiest things like affirming to yourself i don't spend money i circulate money whatever i circulate comes back to me multiplied whatever money i get i give back I give back, that's why I get more. I get more, that's why I give back. Money loves me. Money is attracted to me at all times. Because I do the Lord's work, every opportunity attracts itself to me. Every room I walk into, people want to talk to me. Opportunities bring themselves to me. I don't chase, I attract. Do you know what I mean? Those are some of my affirmations, for instance. So you can start right there, maybe record, write them down and then record yourself saying them over and over. Maybe write about 20 affirmations and say them over and over, record yourself and put in headphones. Now most of my time when I'm jogging, I'm not only just listen to, listening to music. 
I'm reprogramming myself because I'm listening to my own voice speak back to myself, speak my affirmations back to me. I'm going to put a link in the description of some of the affirmations that I've done a couple of years ago. They're actually um, on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to repost them again so that you guys can click, get an idea of how you can reprogram yourself saying or speaking life unto yourself or affirming unto yourself over and over on your, in your own voice verbally and then you listen to that over and over daily those are some of the things that can help you at least unlearn to relearn new habits and then from there the action the deed is the most important part what is your deed moving forward are you disciplined enough to not go back to your old ways to start acting anew afresh starting afresh and moving on with your life as a new rejuvenated refined refurbished newer newborn you with your new discipline new ways of doing things do you know what i mean so i hope this video helps somebody out there but i'm gonna put the link in the description just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the affirmations i've recorded um, a couple of years ago to give you an idea as to what type of affirmations you can write for yourself guys you can write yourself affirmations on anything any habit that you'd like to or any new habit that you'd like to adopt write affirmation affirmations on it or positive affirmations on it and then verbally and then write them down and then verbally record yourself audibly like audio recording of yourself and then over and over maybe let me make you an example let me just make five affirmations on the subject that we are talking about i've already made them but i'm gonna give you another example so you get a bit of an idea i circulate money whatever amount of money i circulate comes back to me multiplied i am a giver i am a kind giver i am a kind successful giving godly person i'm the lord's person whatever i give comes back to me multiplied I don't spend money, but I circulate money and it comes back to me multiplied. I invest money. I invest money for the future. I accumulate assets. I don't spend, but I circulate money and it comes back to me multiplied. Whatever assets I accumulate, I accumulate assets that give me monthly passive income. Do you know what I mean? Like those are some of the examples that I'm just making for you. You can write your own affirmations. Um, I've got a lot of affirmations I say, man. Affirmations like, um, I'm a kind person, I'm a dedicated person, I'm a disciplined person, I'm a kind and a compassionate person, I'm nurturing, I'm positive, I'm positive at all times, I'm a godly person, I do the Lord's work at all times, I'm a positive thinker, I solve problems, I'm a problem solver, I read books, I love reading books, I'm a good person, I'm a godly person, I do the Lord's work on a daily basis i am kind i speak positivity unto others i do the lord's work even when nobody is watching i'm honest i'm loyal i'm kind i'm loving i'm generous i'm incredible i'm amazing i'm beautiful i'm talented i'm capable i'm successful i'm an amazing human being i'm an incredibly gifted person i'm blessed to become a blessed you know what i mean i'm sure you get the idea now